What's up, party people? I am still in Cincinnati. The time got away from me yesterday, and I did not get my AC completed. And I think I might have forgot to cancel or readjust my hotel arrangements. Might have paid for a hotel room I didn't use last night. So I, as soon as I get done here, I'm going to go deal with that. Now, just to recap. The AC situation on Panther's a little strange. I get like 22,000 comments about the AC compressor clutch. Come on, guys. You know, I've posted 42 or 43 videos about the AC compressor clutch gap. I know that. That's been checked. The problem is this thing is shutting down power. I don't even have power to my low pressure switch. I don't have power to the compressor clutch. If I put 12 volt power directly to the compressor, it kicks on and runs fine. You know, so that ain't it. So I picked up a few parts from the salvage art yesterday. A couple of switches, a couple of relays. I'm going to try those. Hopefully I got good ones and I'll get to the bottom of this issue with this AC kicking off. And yesterday it wouldn't even kick on at all. I don't know if it has enough refrigerant in it or what. But it didn't kick on at all. It should have... 0.63 kilograms in there which is enough to make it run so anyway i'm gonna deal with that hopefully this morning it's raining not sure if i'm gonna get done uh, yesterday i didn't get to it i helped my daughter set up a printer my daughter went to college for graphic art design and she does printing for a living and uh her little side gig is helping me with my uh what do they call that stuff I don't know, the gear that I have, my Robert DIY t-shirts, cups, hats, stuff like that. It's on her Etsy page. Now, we have the capability of printing full color t-shirts. Any color, any design, uh, not just vinyl, I mean full color. We could have a meet and greet, take a picture. It would be a little bit creepy but we could get a picture of me and you on the t-shirt in front of our cars or whatever have that shirt put it on there uh she does a lot of other stuff too like for weddings uh, printing decals and images on cups and and dates and stuff on cups man she got people to do parties they print full-blown four foot by eight foot or or five by eight posters with whatever they want whatever kind of collage they want and they hang them at their parties and have parties and stuff so if you got any custom printing needs if we can't print it here we can help you with the design farm the printing out check it over get it printed to you uh, check it out get it sent to you so that man you got what you want and it's decent or good quality you know uh, some people send us things that are pixelated and we do our best with them but if we get what we need if my daughter gets what she needs she can have that stuff looking as professional as should be so keep that in mind I uh, didn't go to Chicago I'm gonna go Tuesday I'm gonna do some more cleaning uh, storing stuff from our move I got family uh, my sister's coming in from Charlotte this weekend, so I did want to be here Sunday and Monday in case she wanted to hang out. That's why I'm not going to Chicago and staying through the 4th in Chicago. So I'll be there uh, Tuesday, whatever date that is, and I'll stay there probably till Saturday, come back, and then go to Baltimore the following week. So that's where I'm at. That's my schedule. Uh, the compressor is fine on Panther. Something else going on in the system. So, thanks for watching. Today's just a little clip of me going to the junkyard. So, catch you guys later. Hopefully, we get some more video. And I did record video of us putting that printer together, but you car guys don't care nothing about that. So, if you got a car group having some kind of special party or something, you need some vinyl or some full color t-shirts or something let us know we can help you out with that thanks for watching
Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Down here at Two Stacks. Yep, still got them stacked. I'm going to pull some relays and stuff like that for my AC issue and try to swap that stuff out, see if that helps me. And then I'm going to do some other things today. So let's see what we can find to get into down here. Looks like we're opening up some more land behind this row. Stack some cars. Looking good. Tony's been asking me to get a brake proportioning valve off of these 960s. So I'm going to dig in there and grab this one. Hopefully it's good. It doesn't look like it's leaking. It looks like you got to take the master cylinder off the brake booster to get it out of the way. There's lines connected from the master cylinder down to the proportioning valve. So let me dig into that. Maybe we'll do a video on that when we install it in his car. I got that valve out. So this car is a 94. So this door latch will work on Queen B. So I'm going to see if I can get this door latch off if the door is open far enough. Get this door latch, put it in Queen B, then get my AC parts I need. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.